you been? I've been well. What happened to you? You left half of you someplace else. Yeah, you know, I have to perform in two places at the same time. Do you, do you? So I leave half of myself in the other, in the other gig. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, how did you do it? First of all, what did you, we've been saying 44 kilos. I don't know. What, what is that? It's about eight stones I lost. Eight stones? Yes, in eight months. That's the most important thing. Oh, that's I just it. discovered a great diet that you can eat a lot and lose a lot of weight. But I won't tell the secret, though. No, no. <laughs> they have to buy my book, you see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and and it, took you, it took you eight months, and what did you do during the course of that time? I mean, wasn't it a struggle for you? I mean, I know. You see, we went to dinner one night here, yeah. <laughs> and I know how you like to eat. Yeah. Uh, that's, I that's still not... like to eat a lot. Yeah. You know, I think mm -hmm. I'm going to... Here you are before. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Remember this? <laughs> Yeah. This was in L. Oh, here you go. I was in that Paris. was just lunch. That was, <laughs> that was in Paris. That's a long time ago. I was bigger than that after this. Sure. Oh yeah. So yeah. what? So what? Is, what did you? I mean, uh, if you're hanging around with a lot of people and they're all eating things, I mean, if you want to lose that much weight, you have to be pretty regimented. With no, I I found a fantastic diet I discovered uh, based upon the dissociation of food, because what makes you fat <laughs> is <laughs> what you mix with what you see mm -hmm. for example i tell you something everybody thinks that alcohol gets gets you fat you know uh, but uh, i discovered something fantastic if you mix alcohol with protein it gives you more calories than if you don't mix it with protein so you see? don't mix alcohol with protein and then you you have less calories you're taking less mm -hmm. calories but that's one of the things that i discovered and i wrote a book about it you know i read in a newspaper article recently yeah. that you were in a restaurant one time and you went outside and started crying because you couldn't eat or something <laughs> no that's not true no i ate a lot in that diet i ate a lot yeah. i ate a lot but i ate the right things you see mm -hmm. and well, how do you feel, feel? you feel better oh or? yeah i feel fantastic are you going to lose any more yeah i have another maybe 10, 12 pounds to lose, and then I, because I don't want to lose too much. No, I don't want you to disappear. You know? yeah. <laughs> have this black leather suit walking around with nobody in it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been two years since we've seen you. Uh, you That's right. you you've, you've changed things. Now, there we saw a piece of film where you were in Paris, and now you live, of course, in Beverly Hills. So. Yeah, well, I live in Beverly Hills. Now I'm going to move to New York, a city that you know very well. <laughs> yes, sure, we do. Uh, uh, yes. And uh, I'll be between London and New York in the, in the next future. And uh, why New York? Uh, why are you leaving Beverly Hills in the first place? That's a better question. I lived there for two years. I discovered a lot of things about Hollywood. And I good found things out. or bad things? Well, some good and some bad. And then now I live in New York and, and, and London. Tell me frankly, you, did you find that, that the Hollywood way of life was too phony for you or something yes, like that? Yes, absolutely. And that makes me, made me change not only my physical aspect, of, but also my mental. I, I'm thinking differently. I, I'm becoming a little bit more, as I can say, uh, spiritual. <laughs> really? And, yes. And Religious uh, spiritual or just spiritual within yourself? Spiritual within myself. Yeah. And uh, um, I'm changing my image, you know, a little bit. You certainly are. Yeah. <laughs> by, by leaps and bounds. What was it about Beverly Hills that you found so fake or so phony? Well, everything is so plastic over there. You know? Well, yeah, I know, but the, some of the, ma the the house you lived in wasn't plastic, was it? The, the walls. Yes, yeah. <laughs> plastic beautiful walls, plastic. walls, and then you knock at them and say, "Oh, paper, you know." Uh huh. Yes. And what? And why is New York going to be different for you? Do you think? Uh, well, it has more culture, has more, uh, is closer to the European mentality. That's true. You see. Yeah, New York. And, uh, and it's not far from uh, from Europe. Yeah. And I can fit into the Concord now. Oh, yes. <laughs> For people that don't know, the Concorde is a very fast plane, but the seats are rather small yeah. and close together. Yes, so now I can fit, you know. Sure, and then it's a short hop to Europe. Do you still keep a home in Europe as well? Yeah, in London. I have a house in England now. Right. Yeah, I don't have a house in France anymore. I left France. That was many years ago. You seem like you're happy. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm great. I'm but you, you had marriage plans, but now there's no marriage plans. No, I'm separated. You look pretty together to me. I don't know. <laughs> you, so does that mean you're available on this trip? What? <laughs> <laughs> I was just checking it out. We're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, we got some more to talk to Demis about, and Bert has his uh, Bert has a little surprise for you for your birthday. I think. Again? Yeah. Yes, I think. <laughs> we'll be back. Don't you go away. More Demis here. Today. We're back, and uh, thank you very much. 
And we're talking with, uh, with Demi Swissa. So, it must have been a, a surprise to you, and I'm not saying this because of the show, but uh, you're overseas in uh, Los Angeles uh, trying to carve out a career sort of in the United States, and suddenly there you appear on television with our show over there. It's fantastic. They, they, uh, your show, it appeared in New York and in Chicago yeah. and in Los Angeles. I've seen it in Los Angeles twice, and uh, they received so many phone calls. On your appearance? Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's what they told me. They called me from the record company. And, and, and why leather outfit now? Uh, wh well, listen, I want to ask you something else. I don't have any skin left. <laughs> <laughs> that's very funny. <laughs> it's the only thing I'll hold you in, right? <laughs> what, uh, what did you do with all the old caftans? I put them in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> we got a guy here who might want to buy. I mean, have to cut him down a bit. Kamal, you know Kamal? <laughs> Caftans? He always wore caftans. Oh, is that right? Yes, but I mean, oh, you know. That's why somebody told me you were imitating someone. No, 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 no. He always, he always wears them. I and, mean, you know, yours, he could make three of his out of one of yours. Yeah. Sure. He's a big guy? No, no, he's small. He's small. Oh, Kamal. Oh, Kamal. You know what I mean, come on. Yes. He talks like this very nice. Yeah, I know the wonderful, person. wonderful person. Yeah. It's, your, it's your birthday. I'm not going to ask you how old you are. You don't want to tell him. I turned 12 yesterday. Did you? <laughs> okay. It's your birthday. And Bert says he's arranged this little uh, birthday surprise for you. So I have is no idea a... what it is, but.